food plays a major role in our lives, and what we eat differs from culture to culture. What foods are traditional for you, and what do you crave whenever you're away from home? This is Culinary Crossing. Join us on our first tour through Europe with our culinary team, Jeremy, TJ, and me, Megan. The goal, travel, taste, and learn. Let's go. Before doing anything, we had to try some Belgium waffles. I got um, a Belgian waffle, of course, and it looks like it has uh, some whipped cream. Uh, got some strawberries, and what better combination to go with strawberries and whipped cream than chocolate? And we are in Belgium, so why not? It's like covered in whipped cream. You can barely see the waffle in the The waffle's thick. about this thick, and the toppings with the whipped cream <laughs> and chocolate are about this thick. <laughs> and so. it's just covered. Like, they literally have a machine, just like ice cream, and they just move the waffle under the, as the the whipped cream comes out of this machine. He got strawberries and I got bananas and we topped the chocolate. And everyone knows that, you know, strawberries and chocolate and whipped cream are kind of aphrodisiac. And are they really? Yeah. Hey, man. It is. Hey, you gotta be careful. Topped on top of this, um, this waffle is getting me really excited right now. Hey. But I'm enjoying it. Hey. I'm enjoying it a lot. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't get waffle. Why didn't you get waffle, Jeremy? I want some muscles, man. Oh. Some Belgian muscles. I just want the sugar. When it comes to you know breakfast and you know, sweets, I'm not that big on that. But I could probably eat something like this every day for breakfast. It wouldn't be healthy or good for me. Oh, I could totally eat this. But I would be living it up doing it. <laughs> <laughs> fine dining experience of the trip. Um, me and, uh, Megan ordered a glass of wine. She actually ordered it. Uh, she. I did not order it. He asked if what type if we wanted medium or light, light. sweet. <laughs> um, so she just you know shot it out medium. And uh, let's see how she likes the wine, the medium bodied wine that she ordered. How is it? It's okay. So, I mean, it's okay. I was I, I was expecting like a red wine. <laughs> a red wine? Do you know Do you know what a medium medium is? A medium wine? Um, I was thinking it was like between sweet and dry, a medium between the two. So that's why I said that. Okay. Um, well, yeah, the medium um, bodied, light bodied, and uh, full bodied wines are actually the texture of the wine. So if you're gonna have red wines such as a Cabernet or a Merlot. Uh, Pinot Noir, that's going to be your, your more full-bodied wines. Uh, the medium-bodied and um, the white-bodied or light-bodied are actually going to be your lighter uh, white wines, like Chardonnay, Riesling, and Pinot Grigios. Oh, okay. So, now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> cheers. cheers. What'd you get, Jeremy? You got beer. I got beer. I got a, I got a light beer. Uh, I think it's the house beer left, right? It was paired with his uh, my my mo frites. Oh man, I'm muscles. excited. Smell that. Smells good. <laughs> Jeremy, what's your favorite? I got the uh, the rabbit with uh, the light sweet beer sauce, and I just took my first bite. is absolutely delicious. The meat's very tender, as rabbit should be, and the sauce is uh, light and sweet and uh, very savory. And uh, you can just get all the flavors from the, the sauce and the carrots on it mixed with the, I believe these are sweet carrots. Uh, they all blend together very well to create an amazing, delicious uh, dish. And this is my first time having rabbit, by the way, so it's an experience for me. Do you like it? I love this it. This is really your first time having rabbit? Yeah. Oh, that's fun. That's why I ordered it. <laughs> when in Belgium. <laughs> when in Belgium. <laughs> so, what, what you got again? All right, well, I got another traditional Belgian dish. It's a uh, braised beef in a beer sauce. It's very similar to what TJ got, just the meat. Instead of rabbit. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's different. It's flavorful. It's, 
Not necessarily. I think it's something very American. And of course, if she was actually going to pair a wine with that dish correctly, it would have been red wine. She would have got a red wine, such as a Merlot. And I the... really, that was my mistake. I was just not thinking when I ordered the this, med medium. This trip is all about learning experiences, and that's what exactly. We're doing. Dude, I'm running through these muscles like nothing. <laughs> if you if you come here, get the muscles. Right. They're slightly fishy, but you taste. You taste more of the ocean rather than that fishy, uh, that overpowering fishy uh, flavor. Are they very fresh? Oh man, they are fresh. Right out of so the ocean. <laughs> right out of the Belgian waters. So they cooked it in white wine. What they did was they melted some butter, threw in some shallots, let that go for a bit. Then they threw in the, the mussels, and then they added the white wine. And as, as the white wine evaporates, It'll steam the muscles open, and that'll infuse that white wine with the muscles, and it gives it it gives it sort of like a bitter aftertaste that balances that sweet, uh, uh, oceany, oceany taste that it naturally has. Mm. Oh man! Is it so amazing? Would it be like horrible? It's it's beyond amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> it's it's beyond amazing. amazing. Would it be horrible if I ordered ketchup <laughs> my French fries? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? I think that's just an American thing. I do. I'm, do they have ketchup? Here? I love condiments. What can I say? Brussels is about <laughs> about to walk because it's about one one o'clock in the morning. We just got through eating dinner, and of course, the times for the metros differ from differ from country to country. Yeah, I think so, in Amsterdam it closes at like two in the morning, and here it closes at who knows. <laughs> like but we 12? missed it. It's seen by twelve. <laughs> yeah, midnight. So we completely missed the metro, and now we have to walk. Who knows how many blocks who knows. to where we're staying. <laughs> But you know what? It's about the atmosphere that we're in. If we had to walk late at night down a country we've never been to, then do it. let's do it. Just do it. <laughs> Oh, shit. You got one right here. 